Elk kills more dreams than failure ever will. This is a quote by Susie Kasim, who is an American writer. And this quote really resonates with me. And it's because my dreams were almost killed by my own self-doubt. And this was back when I was in eighth grade, where my music teacher back then have told me that my singing and my voice didn't quite really fit the song. Their reasoning behind it was because I wasn't good enough. You're not good enough. And that's when I started to doubt myself, and which then led me on to avoiding and to eventually stop singing. And because of that, I had gone through this emotional roller coaster ride of, that is filled with sadness and frustration. And because of that, I've actually learned something out of it and have learned, um, have gotten something out of it that is, that is um, knowing the difference between a constructive and a destructive criticism. Or a constructive criticism is um, filled, with a good, filled with good intentions and where it addresses the issue or points out the problem in a much, in a rather um, positive and um, supportive way, rather than in a negative and um, dismissive way. While on the other hand, a destructive criticism is much, uses much more offensive or hurtful words that can, that can undermine the other person and tear them down. And back then, when I was in eighth grade, I didn't know the difference between those two criticisms, and, and I didn't know that the words that my music teacher told me was quite a destructive criticism. And so then I had let those words affect me and made me to believe that I really didn't fit for singing and my, that I wasn't good enough for singing for a while. But here I am now. And having gone through that experience, I have known that this horrible and miserable feeling or whatever that I'm struggling with isn't forever and it's not permanent in any way. And that there will be a day where I'll look back and think of how silly and how small, how small of a problem it was. But I believe that it's because of those small and little things that might seem silly, those little struggles that you go through in life are what makes you grow, makes you a better person, makes you stronger, and makes the person who you are today. And this is why I wanted to share this topic of self-doubt with you all, and to know how words can affect and change people completely, as well as their life and how it can prevent any opportunities and experiences that might have led them into achieving their dreams or happiness in the future. And I hope that um, in, in having you listen to my talk has, um, been any, has been inspiring or helpful or feel less alone in whatever struggle and tough, time, and tough times you might be going through right now. And one main takeaway I would like everyone to, to know in this talk is I hope that everyone can be kind to one another, especially to ourselves, to love and cherish the person you are, because you are good enough. Thank you.